Alright, what's up guys? Uh, my name is Kurt, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some high quality um, models of your character and some basic thumbnails. So, and I got this from a YouTuber named Cryos Gaming. That's what his YouTube channel is. I'll put it in the description below. So what you want to do is you want to open up Model Viewer, uh, change it to like a green screen like this, and either import your character, load it, or just make one. So I'm just going to load a character that I made for one of my friends. Hopefully it's the completed model of it. Yeah, it is. Alright. Um, so you got this. Uh, for some reason his eyes aren't open, but that's okay. So now you want to go to, after you finish your character, I'm going to go to File, Save Size Screenshot. Right now, actually first you want to zoom in all the way until you get his whole character. I'm going to sheath that. Uh, there. You need the whole character in the picture. So you wanna... Let's just... Name it... Anything, so I'm just going to... Test... Let's name it Test. So now you wanna hit Lock Aspect... And set the canvas width to 5000. Alright, save. Now you wanna open up Photoshop... Uh, file... Open... Now you want to find a thing, let's see, there's test, there it is, hopefully it'll open, yes. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to get your magic wand tool, and click. And now, see some green that's not really selected, what you want to do is zoom in, go back to the wand tool, and shift click it until everything you want is selected and a lot of little spaces in this one so it might take me a little bit to get it on um, let's see here uh, oh that was awkward. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Let's get all that. Let's get that. This little staff here will be kind of weird looking, but all right now since once you have all that, let me get this here real quick. Sorry, and over here. <laughs> all right. So once you have all the things that you want selected, you want to right click and hit select inverse. Before that you should probably make a new document. Uh, I'm going to set it as 12 by 80 by 720 because that's the regular thumbnail width. Now what you want to do is you want to get the move tool and just drag your character onto the a new document he just made. He's gonna be really big and like I said the staff's gonna be looking weird. But now you want to control T. That is free edit. So just shrink him down. He's kinda tall here. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make him that height. Also when you're in Model beer, you can do any stance you want, it doesn't matter. But I just use this regular standing motion here. Alright, so that's done. Just place them however you want. And now, what you want to do is go around your character and remove any stuff you missed with the eraser tool. So let's. Let's get this. 
Alright, I'm going to erase this too. Do two. Don't really need the m magic type stuff in the uh, picture itself. Well, you can if you want, but I'm not going to. Alright. So that should be good. Let's get this. A little bit. Just want to check all around the character for anything that you have missed. Staff shouldn't have anything. Alright. So that's. Oops. Sit on the screen. Now, what you want to do is. There is. This guy on DeviantArt named Daniel Barris, who makes these really amazing um, photos of Diablo 3 and World of Warcraft. So his Diablo 3 things, as you can see here, and then you want to click on World of Warcraft. Click on World of Warcraft. Sorry about these ads. They suck. Uh, so let's just find one. I'm going to do... Uh, like Elrendar. Let's let's do that. I hate these ads, man. All right. So you want to hit download on the side here. Now it'll pop up with this, and you want to right-click and hit copy image. Sometimes this really doesn't paste it for me, like it's doing now. So I'll. Be right back until I get that. All you want to do is just paste it on top of your character. So, be right back, guys. All right. So now, uh, after you got that put in, you want to just make it however you want. So make sure the picture is all on the screen. I'm gonna put it like this. Just get a little waterfall. And it looks like he's kind of standing on the ground. Alright. So now, what you want to do is create a gradient map. Stick it above everything. And then, there is a one here, which I'll put on the screen, like, up here, the codes for it. Alright, this one is 00272A, and this one is FFED8C. So it should come up like this, which makes, when you put it as an overlay down here, overlay, it makes a really nice color. Now you want to turn the opacity down to... I like around 90, but you can change it however you want, but personally I like it at 90. Yeah. Alright, so now it looks all amazing like, and you want to get out a brush here, uh, make a new layer. Make sure it's black, and basically you just want to go around, around the bottom of him. Alright. I want to set that opacity down too. Alright. Make another layer, do that again, but make it kind of more gray. Alright, set the opacity down. Now with your eraser, just go around the outsides and 
get rid of like all the excess ones that you don't want. So basically on this side of the foot and down here a little bit. Yeah, on both layers. Let's get the black layer. it like that kind of or without that you can just go on the model um, and do drop shadow I just I didn't apply it I just realized you could have done that uh, <laughs> simple mistakes on my part uh, let's see let's edit the drop shadow a little bit spread and distance. Set it kind of like that. Alright. Zoom out. Oh, fit on the screen. There we go. Alright. So now it's time for your text. Um, so what you can do is you just select wherever you want it. For this, I'm going to type in. Make sure you actually have it as a white font, because that will make it much more easier. Maxo, that is his name. Um, set to as big as you want. Now I have a custom style here, but I'm going to show you what's on it. Alright, so. Basically, I just turned the bevel and emboss on. Didn't really edit any of that. Stroke, what you want to do is you want to turn the opacity down to around 50. Set the position as inside, and the color is white. For gradient overlay, you want to set the opacity down around 30 or 40. And for drop shadow, opacity 75. And you can increase the distance if you want. Alright, so then your text kind of looks like that. And basically, you're done. But, if you want... Well, this really depends on what you're trying to make. So, if you want to make it a thumbnail, you can have some more text in here. Saying like a title. Yeah, that spells title. Um... But what I made for him, I had, here let's go find it, pardon all my crap uh, here, uh, Maxo. So what I did for him, I put his Twitch, his YouTube, his Twitter, and his, his raid call, and made by me. Um, so yeah, that's basically all that you really have to do. And, yeah. See you next time, guys. Peace.